The S card, or sound card switch within Sapphire Control LE, is basically a one-click solution to routing audio directly from your sequencer to the Sapphire LE hardware outputs. What I mean by that is um, audio, and only audio, that's routed to outputs 1 2 within Ableton will route directly to 1 and 2 of the Sapphire LE, and only audio that's routed to um, 3 and 4 of the Sapphire LE within Ableton will be routed to 3 and 4 on the back of the Sapphire LE, and so on. So let me demonstrate what I mean within Sapphire Control LE. If I activate the S card switch, you can see that these two sliders both move to the extreme right position where only playback tracks are heard for both monitors and headphones and no inputs. And then only the fader that relates to the right set of outputs is turned up with all of the other playback tracks turned down. So up in the top set of faders here which relates to the monitors or outputs 1 and 2, only playback software tracks 1 and 2 are up. And down here on these faders that relate to the headphones, which are outputs 3 and 4, only software track 3 and 4 fader is up. Similarly, although not visibly within the Sapphire Control LE window, any audio that's routed to outputs 5 and 6 within Ableton will be routed directly to the remaining analog outputs, outputs 5 and 6 of the Sapphire LE, and any audio routed to outputs 7 and 8 within Ableton will be routed straight to outputs 7 and 8 of the Sapphire LE, which is the SPUDIF out on the rear panel. Um, so now if I was to play the session from before, all of my drums would be routed straight to outputs 1 and 2, all of my bass would be routed straight to outputs 3 and 4, and my synth part would go to outputs 5 and 6. Um, so now if I want to return to my previous session settings, or return to recording or tracking mode, I just use the track switch within Sapphire Control LE, which turns to the previous session settings.